Nah, sis, you're not by yourself no more. Okay, well, come on, Miss Patrice. How well, you since doing? We're here, honey. Yeah. We've had a full night of relatability, mm -hmm. vulnerability, yeah, lots know. of loudness where it's yeah. acceptable anyway. And I think it's time that we tell our story. Of course. So I got something to tell you since we're right here. <gasps> well, I got something to tell you too. We're going to say it in front of them? Yeah, it's a safe space. We can do it. Okay. Well, All you right. go first. No. Let's go together. Let's go together. All right. One, One two, two, three. I was, I was never, never supposed, supposed to open, open up a coffee, coffee shop. shop. Ma'am. Ma'am, your name is Black Coffee. No. What are you talking no, it's about? Not. No. <laughs> but, no, seriously, I wasn't. But let's start with you. Tell me why. Well, listen, I was a high school English teacher for five years, and entrepreneurship was always kind of laughed at, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, look at you, girl, what you want to do? But nothing would drive me more than seeing small businesses thrive, mm -hmm. seeing people come up with solutions, seeing people like get their ideas off of paper and out there. And so I would stay up all night with my husband, hey baby. All right, <laughs> and I would drink coffee after coffee after coffee, and we would just be throwing ideas against the wall, and somehow mm -hmm. I feel like you understand what that's, that's yeah, about. Really. And so one day I was on my way to work and I was just having one of those mornings. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And I said, we got to do something because I cannot keep doing this. <laughs> All right. And so I said, we have to create the coffee for people like us, visionaries and hustlers and go-getters and people who just don't take no for an answer mm -hmm. and people who just going to keep on going no matter what. Yeah. And so we developed Hustle Blends. Hustle Blends is a blend of beans. It's a blend of creativity. It's a blend of purpose. And it's a blend of possibilities. What about you? Well, I definitely understand where you're coming from. I was content working in an alternative school, same district as you, but we ain't got to talk about that. I don't know those people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was content doing that, helping my friends and family, you know, reach their goals, helping this man right here. Yeah. And then just from my love of coffee, every cup I had was calling me to share the joy that I felt with them. Yeah. And so, you know, my, my thing is I feel like every neighborhood should have a coffee shop. And it should. They deserve it, Absolutely. right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna start this journey with the help of some friends, you know, I got in, started doing what I need to do to create a space, a safe space for my community right. to come in, hang, have their meetings, do whatever they need to do, and that's black coffee. But of course, I did not want to do it alone. And you don't have to. Right. It's so wild that our stories align so much, and we should be competition. Yeah. Our stores are like, away from each other. Mm -hmm. However, we're here together. Right. And there's nothing I love more. Absolutely, because I always tell myself that I'm my own competition. That's right. Always asking myself, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you making progress? Are you serving your community in a way that is contributing to its growth and success? Now, that last part leaves me right here with you, ma'am. Because if I'm really invested in my community and want to see it grow, why would I not want to see another coffee shop? Come on. In fact, there is a popular street in Fort Worth that yes. has Four coffee shops. They don't care about each other, living their life, all of them filled. That's what I want for my community. A black coffee, a hustle blends, and many more, because all it does is motivates our people to bring their businesses, whatever it may be, to the community and literally be the change. And see, this is why it is so easy to support you. I want you to get your flowers right here, mm. right now, okay? Mm -hmm. So could y'all give me a round, actually give me a round of applause, because Tell what if you, do if you Tell don't know, to do that. no, give her, give her her Tell things. Her not She's not going to take them, but give it to her. All right, because here's the thing about it. This woman was the first person in our city, in this generation, to create a coffee shop. She was the first in this generation, all right? And I don't know how many people in here ever been first to do anything. Any first in here, you were the first business owner, you were the first college graduate, you were the first something, yeah. somebody, the first somebody to do it right. The first person through the wall is the bloodiest. Mm -hmm. So whenever she goes through, when, whatever story she has to tell and share with you guys, I promise you it's worth it. The thing about it is all great revolutions and movements and ideas have started with a cup of coffee. Yeah. But this change right here, it starts with us. Mm -hmm. It starts with our why. The why of Hustle Blends is just like this. We don't care about you sitting up here running into the wall, hustle culture, no sleep, going crazy. That is not us, this is not that. Hustle is an acronym for us. Help us see the light everywhere. This is a nod for people to never give up on their dreams. This is a nod for people to pick up your notebook again and say, I'ma try it again. That's what that's about. It's a limiting belief mm -hmm. to sit up here and think that me and you share the same dollar, because right. we don't. No. And even the customers that we do share, our how is different, but our why isn't. Competition is going to breed excuses. Yeah. 
Competition is going to breed excuses because all we're going to sit up here and do is talk about all the many reasons why we can't do something. But collaboration breeds abundance. That's why I'm here with you. The truth is we need each other. Yeah. And her win is my win. Yeah. And your growth is my growth. And your expansion is my expansion. Mm -hmm. And this is not just about a coffee shop in case y'all ain't got it by now. <laughs> <laughs> this is about motherhood. This is about wifehood. This is about falling down and getting back up. This is about entrepreneurship. This is about black womanhood. Yeah. Now, let's give them a little tea about the coffee industry. Just you, a little bit. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, just give them a little bit. You think they're ready? They're ready. Okay. They're here. Listen, as much as public opinion has loved to divide me and this woman, let me tell y'all how we do not benefit from, from dividing a very small number anyway. Coffee beans are grown in black and brown countries. However, minority coffee shop owners are but a handful. And in Fort Worth, Texas, which is the 12th largest growing city in the United States, I did not say the state of Texas, I said in the United States, mm -hmm. this woman and myself are the only two black coffee shops. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that is great, but there are many more to come. Yeah. And that's why we're here. My coffee shop, Hustle Blends, is cold brew only. That's a cold brew niche. We only sell one type of coffee. And as much as people would love to think it's just iced coffee, I'm going to preach to y'all real quick if y'all don't mind. I know we've been in church for about two or three hours. This is a, uh, a revival, if you will. <laughs> However, <laughs> I'm to give it to them. Give it to them. Cold brew is not just iced coffee. It's a process, all right? So that means sitting and being steeped in the right conditions. It takes 12, 10 to 12 hours for one cup of uncut cold brew to be processed. That means sitting, waiting to be steeped, mm -hmm. waiting till you come out bold. And guess what? If you sit for extra long, we like to call you concentrate. So look at your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor and say, have you been sitting? Come on. And then I want you to look at your other neighbor and say, are you concentrated? <laughs> and if anything, this is a reminder for all of us that it all takes a process. But if you've never seen potency before, it's my sister right here. If you've never been in Black Coffee Fort Worth, when you go in, it is the most welcoming environment I've ever seen. It is the attention to detail, immaculate. This woman cares about your experience. There is a seat in there for everybody. In fact, when you walk in, the door says, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Period. So no, there's no competition, because no. I need her to win. Yeah, and let's be real. There are professions that compete for a living. Athletes, they compete. And it would be naive to say we're not competing, but definitely not with each other. We don't do that. This is support. This is me wanting to see my sister in arms win. Right. And we celebrate each shop, product. They're different. We celebrate those differences. Black Coffee is the ode to the traditional coffee shop, your neighborhood diner. In fact, it used to be the diner in the east side. So we stick to that, and we use espresso as our tasty tool to make delicious drinks that help people get to work, help people study, help people sit and talk about changing the community. Oh, and you're going to get a shot of community anytime you walk in the door. Anytime. You're going to see somebody you know or see somebody you wanted to meet. That's what we do. Now, Ms. Patrice and Hustle Blends, it's like nothing that we've ever seen. First cold brew bar ever. Because they're just unique, just like you. Thank you, sis. Yeah. And when you go there, you're going to get a great drink, some delicious cold brew. Is that south side? That's mine. That's what I like. As That's it south side. Be. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're going to leave knowing some facts about hip hop. Somebody might teach you about Indian matchmaking, which it is one of my favorite that. shows. But <laughs> yeah, you're going you're gonna to leave feeling great. You're going to leave with a friend. And that only means that I can celebrate even more because I know that our community is in good hands. Now, we're going to ask some questions to y'all. You know, just think about it. Who are you supporting? Are you supporting someone in your industry mm. that is doing the same thing you're doing? Are you supporting your community? Come on. Helping them grow? Are you supporting family? Please support Ray Ray. Like, we know he's selling. <laughs> Like, y'all laugh. He, he need it. But when he, he get a storefront, you're going to say, that's my cousin. Right. So get it right so now him. before go, you get left. Go buy that plate, you know, buy them candles, Come buy on. whatever. Let him know. pop the trunk for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And listen, if you are a supporter in here, if you are somebody that makes it your business to shop locally, could you wave your hand at us, please? Awesome. I love you guys. Now, one thing we want you, we want to charge you guys. We want to challenge you all. When you walk out of here, we want you to go and see what is the new shop? What is the new food truck in your area? Who, who's doing the new thing in that? And I want you to go and support those people. And if you already support those people, double it. And also, if you're a business owner, can our business owners wave their hands? Hey Look at y'all. Shout out to the business owners. It ain't easy out here, but y'all are here, man. Y'all are here. Listen, listen, listen. We want to encourage you today because we know one thing is y'all don't get a lot of encouragement. But the other part of it is we want you to keep going and know that nobody is in your way. If somebody comes up the street from you and they have a new idea, a new concept, go and support them. Yeah. Go and see what's going on. Go and see how you can help them. And let's all remember just to be the student who's listening to that other business owner, learning, but also be the teacher giving sound advice when asked, not, not if they didn't ask. That's if good. they ask, give the advice. That's good. And, and also give the gym. You can give a gym if it's going to save them time, money, or it might just be the motivation that they needed for the day. It's okay to help each other. Right. We're here to celebrate, to move the needle forward, and we can only do that together. So let's stay blended in unity. Thank you, guys. Thank you.